I'm York. And I'm City. And we're Two, Two Kids, Kids on, on a Couch. couch. Hi guys, welcome back to Two Kids on a Couch. It is Tony Sunday! That is right, and very glad to be joined by York. Thank you so much, York, Thank for being so here. Thank you so much, York, yeah. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I'm glad to be here. Alright, so if you haven't seen our finale episode before, uh, we're going to go through the whole ballot and let you know uh, our thoughts on all the nominees and who we think we're going to win so that you'll be prepared for this evening's telecast. You ready to get started? Let's get started! Let's do okay. it! Our first category is Best Performance by a Featured Actress in a Play. And the nominees are Finola Flanagan from The Ferryman, Celia Keenan Boulder to Kill a Mockingbird, Christine Nielsen, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus, Julie White, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus, and Ruth Wilson, King Lear. Don't we always want Celia to win everything? This is just, yes. oh, This is not the first time we've said this. Certainly. But I, I, I would say it's the first time I like believe in my heart of hearts. Yeah. But this might be her year. Celia. Celia. Celia, Celia it. it is. Our next category is Featured Actor in a Musical, and the nominees are Andre DeShields, Hades Town, Andy Grasshusen, <laughs> Tootsie, mm -hmm. Patrick Page, Hades Town, Jeremy Pope, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations, and Ephraim Sykes, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. I still think Andy the Shield is the front runner to my mind. We've seen it happen before, two great diverse characters splitting votes. Sure. Um, so for that reason, I might say Andy, actually. So one vote for Andy. I'll probably still vote for Andre. York? Let's say Patrick. Oh, homeboy uh, Patrick. What a guy. Solid, solid choice. So, a split decision. Our next category is Best Featured Actress in a Musical. The nominees are Lily Cooper, Tootsie, Amber Gray, Town, Sarah Stiles, Tootsie, Ali Stroker, Rodgers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma, and Mary Testa, Rodgers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. The names I've been hearing <laughs> tossed on the most are Amber Gray and Ali Stroker. I would concur. You've seen both shows. I'm gonna say Amber Gray, so uh, I'm gonna check Amber. Oh, don't check Ali too. Our next category is Best Book of a Musical, and the nominees are Dominique Morisseau for Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times, The Temptations, Scott Brown and Anthony King for Beetlejuice, Anais Mitchell, Hades Town, Bob Martin and Chad Beguelin, for The Prom, and Robert Horn for Tootsie. And that doesn't even count the book that I thought was going to win Best Musical, which was Joe Trace's Be More Chill book. <laughs> not nominated. Not nominated. It's cool. <laughs> I'm not bitter. My instinct is actually Tootsie, because I've heard great things about that book. Let's go Tootsie. 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 Our next category is Best Score, and our nominees are Be More Chill, Music and Lyrics by Joe Iconis, Beetlejuice, Music and Lyrics by Eddie Perfect, Town, music and lyrics by Anais Mitchell, The Prom, lyrics by Chad McGoolin, and music by Matthew Sklar, To Kill a Mockingbird, music by Adam Guttel, and Tootsie, music and lyrics by David Gaspick. I mean, the Hades sound score is pretty good. Hades <laughs> sound score is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge, jump, jump, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Our next category is Best Scenic Design of a Play, and the nominees are Miriam Buther, to Kill a Mockingbird, Bunny Christie, Inc., Rob Howell, The Ferryman, Santo Loquasto, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus, and Jan Versiveld, Network. I like <laughs> Gary said a lot. I'll give it to Gary. I'm gonna say Gary. Gary sounds good. Like Gary, Gary, yeah, sure. Get those dead bodies. Our next category is Best Scenic Design of a Musical. Oh. And the nominees are Robert Brill and Peter Negrini for Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. Peter England for King Kong, Rachel Houck for Hades Town, Laura Jelinek for Rodgers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma, and David Corin's Beetlejuice. The Hades Town set is what made me cry. The Beetlejuice has, I don't have I a set. I love the Beetlejuice set. I feel like it was a character in the whole story in a, in a cool way. Well, that's not just what you get for me, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice? No, I can't say it a third time. Okay, okay. <laughs> this sounds good. Our next category is Best Costume Design of a Play. And our nominees are Rob Howell, The Ferryman, Tony Leslie James, Bernhardt slash Hamlet, Clint Ramos for The Torch Song, Anne Roth for Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus, and Anne Roth for To Kill a Mockingbird. I mean, I feel like Gary is the only one that's like not essentially street clothes. I would say Gary. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Our next award is for Best Costume Design of a Musical, and the nominees are Michael Crass, for Hades Town, William Ivy Long, Beetlejuice, William Ivy Long, Tootsie, Bob Mackie, The Share Show, and Paul Tazewell, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. I definitely think William Ivy Long is our safe bet. I agree. Whether it goes to Beetlejuice or Tootsie, I really I don't have a sense. I think I will say Beetlejuice. Okay, I'll say Beetlejuice. I'll say Beetlejuice, yeah. And this brings us to Best Lighting Design of a Play. Oh man, and <laughs> here we go guys. <laughs> and the nominees are 
Neil Austin, Inc. Jules Fisher and Peggy Eisenhower, Gary, sequel to Titus and Donovan. Peter Mumford, The Ferryman. Jennifer Tipton, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Jan Versweveld, and Tal Yarden, Network. I know there's some cool lighting done in ink. Network is a title that would sound like it would have great lighting. I'm gonna say network. I've convinced myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say ink. I'll say network. Our next category is lighting design of a musical, and we have as our nominees Kevin Adams, The Share Show, Howell Binkley, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations, Bradley King for Hades Town, Peter Mumford for King Kong, and Kenneth Cosner and Peter Negrini for Beach. I think that design categories in the clump, so I think whoever wins scenic costumes and lighting, I think it will is likely to go together. Gotcha. And because I think Beetlejuice is so strong in all the categories, I think it might sweep all three of those. Beetlejuice. Our next award up for debate is the best sound design of a play. And what a debate it'll be. And what a debate it'll be. The nominees are Adam Cork for Ink, Scott Loverer, To Kill a Mockingbird, Fitz Patton, Choir Boy, Nick Powell, The Fairy Man, and Eric Slechem, Network. <laughs> Choir Boy also made good use of oh, music. Oh, Choir Boy. It's gonna be Choir and Boy. And those harmonies were like... Yeah. Tight. Choir Boy. Our next category is Best Sound Design of a Musical. Oh. And the nominees are... Peter Helinski, Beetlejuice. Peter Helinski, King Kong. Steve Canyon Kennedy, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times, The Temptations. Drew Levy, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. And Nevin Steinberg and Jessica Paz, Hades Town. I have strong feelings about Oklahoma winning, actually. I've never seen sound design used so, like, overtly oh, yeah. and well. Yeah. Rods and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. So our next category is Best Direction of a Play, and we have our nominees. Rupert Gould for Ink, Sam Mendez, Fairyman, Scarlet Chair, To Kill a Mockingbird, Ivo Van Ho, Live Network, and George Seawolf for Gary, a sequel to Titus and Dracula. Mockingbird was great, and Bartlett does good work. I'd love to say Bartlett's share. The Fairyman was so well directed. The Fairyman had a lot going on at once. I just want to say, I vote for I vote. Okay, okay. Just for that stupid joke. It's a good reason. <laughs> Always a talented fellow. Talented fellow. Our next nominee is Best Direction of a Musical, and the nominees are Rachel Chopkin, Hades Town, Scott Ellis, Tootsie, Daniel Fish, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma, Des McGanna. Ain't Too Proud, Life and Times and Temptations, and Casey Nicola, The Prom. I think it's between two. I, yes, I, I would say between our pal Rachel and our pal Daniel. I agree. And I don't know which one I want to win. I'll say Daniel Fish. I'm leaning to agree with Rachel Chalk. Okay. I'll say Rachel. Rachel? Okay, so we got Rachel and we got Daniel. Okay. This brings us to Best Choreography, and the nominees are Camille A. Brown, Choir Boy, uh, Warren Carlyle, Kiss Me Kate, uh, Dennis Jones, Tootsie, David Newman, Hades Town, and Sergio Trujillo, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of Presentation. I think there is kind of a behemoth this year. Yeah. Which is Warren Carlyle, Kiss Me Kate. Kate. Yeah, which I, I think kind of can and should win. Way to go, Warren. Our next category is Best Orchestration. The nominees are Michael Chorney and Todd Sitzikus for Hades Town, Simon Hale, Tootsie, Larry Hoffman, Kiss Me Kate, Daniel Kluger, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma, and Harold Wheeler, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. I'm going to say Ain't Too Proud because they took pedestrian music, right, and they put it on a Broadway stage and it didn't suck. Yeah. Oklahoma also has like the, the orchestra oh, on stage yeah. and like they have acting musicians and like they do cool stuff and right. they you know, pair it down instead of pair up, which is yeah, a cool choice and it's cool, cool. it's her yeah. story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Oklahoma with uh, okay. Daniel. I was leaning towards Oklahoma as well. Yeah, okay, sure. No, I'm gonna, ain't too proud. I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna stand by, I'm, okay. I'm sticking to my gut. Right. Ain't too proud. Split, split gut. Okay, yep, cool. Our next category is Best Performance by a Featured Actor in a Play. The nominees are Bertie Carvel, Inc., Robin De Jesus, The Boys in the Band, Gideon Glick, To Kill a Mockingbird, Brandon Uranowitz, Burn This, and Benjamin Walker, Arthur Miller's All My Sons. I've just heard so many great things about Bertie Carvel and Inc. He has won the Olivier for this. He's the most interesting character in the play by far. Alright, Bertie Carvel. And this brings us to Best Leading Actress in a Musical. And the nominees are Stephanie J. Block in The Cher Show, Caitlin Kinoonan in The Prom, Beth Level in The Prom, Eva Noblezada, The Hades Town, and Kelly O'Hara, Kiss Me Kate. I feel like Kelly O'Hara, Stephanie J. Block, and Beth Level are all like, yeah, they should win a Tony Award. Right. Whereas Eva Noblezada and Caitlin Kinoonan are like, win a are Tony like 22. Award. Like, they're like right. kids. 
who will be nominated many more times. Right. I'm actually thinking it might be Stephanie J. Block. The Sure Show is a Sure Show. But it's Stephanie J. Block, and yeah. she does great work. From what I've read and seen, she was playing a character very unlike herself, mm -hmm. that people had very high expectations for. Yeah. And she hit it, did a very good job. Yeah, um, yeah. Alright, so Stephanie. Stephanie. Our next category is Leading Actor in Musical. We have Brooks as Schmanskis for The Prom, Derek Baskin for Ain't Too Proud, Life and Times of the Temptations, Alex Brightman, Beetlejuice, Damon Dono, Rogers and Hammersteins, Oklahoma, and Santino Fontana, Tootsie. I think it might be Santino. Uh, yeah, I think he had one of the trickier roles. I, I would one say One of the so. more transformative roles, I'm gonna <laughs> say. I'm gonna go Santino. Santino. Santino sounds good. Santino. Our next category is a Best Performance by a Leading Actress in a Play. The nominees are Annette Benning, Arthur Miller's All My Sons, Laura Donnelly, The Ferryman, Elaine May, The Waverly Gallery, Janet McTeer, Bernhardt Hamlet, Laurie Metcalf, Hillary and Clinton, and Heidi Schreck, What the Constitution Means to Me. I have a great thing about Elaine May. I heard really good things about Elaine May. And in case you haven't mentioned it, Elaine May's headshot is a webcam selfie. <laughs> I what a that, power move! What a power move! I think that's incredible! And she's nominated for a Tony! Ah! Okay, alright, that's... <laughs> Elaine May? Are we all good? Are we all good? Great. Yeah. Oh, oh, These are the possibilities. Our next category is the performance by an actor in a leading role in a play. And the nominees are... Patty Constantine, The Ferryman. Brian Cranston, Network. Jeff Daniels, To Kill a Mockingbird. Adam Driver, Burn This. And Jeremy Pope, Choir Boy. Adam Driver, apparently... I've heard incredible things about Adam like Driver. killed it. Only concern <laughs> is Mr. The Cranston. Is Mr. Cranston? He's <laughs> <laughs> gotten us before. Jeremy Pope. This was his Broadway debut. If Choir Boy was still running now, I think he'd be right up there. Yeah. But it has closed. Do you want to, to, to play our optimist card and say Jeremy yes, Pope? Yes. Let's throw caution right. to the wind. Jeremy, Jeremy Pope. Pope. You at the very least deserve it, good man. Our next category is best revival of a musical, and our nominees are Tiffany Kate and Rogers and Hammerstein's. My vote goes to Oklahoma for I agree. reasons previously discussed. Yeah. It is yeah. better. It is better. Let's do it. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Our next category is Best Revival of a Play. And the nominees are Arthur Miller's All My Sons, The Boys in the Band, Burn This, Torch Song, and The Waverly Gallery. Maybe The Waverly Gallery? Because that one I've heard that, like, even if the show isn't great, the, the whole cast is great. Yeah. Waverly Gallery sounds good. Enough. Okay. Well, Waverly Gallery. This brings us to Best Play. And the nominees are Choir Boy, The Ferryman, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus, Inc., and What the Constitution Means to Me. This is the part of the show where we lament, as we do every year, that there's not a Best Book of a Play award. But there's not. But there's not. Here we are. So here we are. Ferryman is kind of what I'm leaning towards. Man, it tells such a story, and it has it such does. an art. And like, even like, it puts an exposition in such a natural, oh, organic it's, way. It's, it's masterfully written. Ferryman. 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 And that brings us to our final category, Best Musical. And the nominees are Ain't Too Proud, The Latin Times of the Temptations, Beetlejuice, Hades Town, The Prom, and Tootsie. So Hades Town is certainly what I would like to win. I yeah, and I think it's I think it's the favorite. It's good theater. It's different theater. It's important and relevant theater. Spookly now. Hades Town. Hades Town. Hades Town. Hades Town. And that is, that is the 73rd Tony Award ballot. Thank you so much for our special guest, York, yes, for, coming for coming out coming here. here. It has been so lovely having you. Make sure you tune in tonight for the Tony Awards. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Only on CBS. You can probably get other places. Yeah, you can probably get other places. At least on CBS. Yeah. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so yeah. you don't miss us out next June. <laughs> but yeah, but, but, but thank you guys seriously for, yeah. for, for watching our show, for supporting what we do. Have a great Tony Sunday. Have a great Tony Sunday. And as always, stay, stay couchy! couchy. We didn't crack we didn't the she was there. I've been waiting for this. Yes. She knew that, guys. What? The first one. What a champ. The whole season. I just think he's a great name. I just think that's a good name to say. That is a good name. Gideon Glick. Gideon Glick. Gideon Glick.